Welcome back, model enthusiasts. So today, I've got a review for the Kinta Studio. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Kinta, I'm, I'm guessing Kinta, with a Q. Studios, uh, it's basically a 3D decal type setup. And so, very curious how these are going to turn out. I've seen some stuff with uh, on Facebook, and so I'm going to show you how it compares to Eduard and you know some of the other options. So first of all, application very easy. Just sand down the different parts uh, that need to be flush. So not a big deal if you've ever done anything else with Photo Etch. It's kind of same ball game that you have to do there. After that. Um, I just used MIGS, uh, like super PVA glue type stuff, and I used that to attach it, and it's worked great. So let's look at the contenders. So first, this is kind of my Shelf of Doom project that I've got with Eduard, and so I think it turns out pretty well with the inside and all that. So that's what you get with Photo Etch. And so I think that turned out pretty well. Now to compare that, here is Quinta, or whatever, Quinta, Quinta. So if you can see, there's a little bit better details, but, and there's the accuracy factor that we always talk about. So with Eduard, it's as if you have all the multifunction displays already up and going, um, which may or may not be an accurate thing to have happen. Whereas where you get into Kinta here, you get into them off. And what I want to show you is when they have them off, there is some sheen to it. So you can see it looks like a actual display you got some blue tint to it and then the detail for all like the little different instruments is pretty awesome okay so that is the instrument panel and you can see well if we can focus a bit it does have some three dimension to it when you go into anything that's uh, photo etch can't even show you but there's really not as much dimension you get a little bit of dimension in layers but um, like the buttons things like that are a little bit harder to achieve so that's the instrument panel that's gonna be the big thing but uh, the other parts that people are gonna look at are right here so all the different dials startup levers all that fun stuff pretty awesome you have all like the labels and everything onto it when you go and you compare an Eduard set kind of boring but oh come to think of it now I don't think that's actually Eduard ha I lied sorry grab this from my shelf of doom it came with an Eduard set but I don't think I used the Eduard Eduard for those just because they don't tend to add a whole lot of detail and so i don't really care for them but this is pretty awesome you can see all the different like labels in there and then that to focus right you can see there's dimension to those and it's something where we are able to just put that on and just stick it on and it's there so that's pretty amazing stuff so that looks pretty cool Oh, and FYI, this is the Great Wall Hobby kit. This is the Eduard uh, set, which basically was just the Academy with some cool photo etch that I just decided to end. Like, the engine nozzles weren't really lining up, and I just uh, lost really my care to go further on that thing. So, that's what we get into to there. Let's talk a little bit. Let's see if there's much... Yeah, that doesn't even have any Eduard for the back. But if we look at the electronics bay, pretty awesome stuff in there. So you got that 3D dimension to those different like fuse boxes or whatever they actually are. 
So that was pretty cool and very easy to apply. You know, just sand it down, put it there. And then you have same kind of pieces for the back part. So that's that. Um, but finally, let's talk about the ejection seat. So I'll have to see, I'm not sure where I put my ejection seat for the Edward set, but much, much better here. So you can see the dimension that you have to the seat comes with an option if you wanted to do like the lamb skin or whatever the stuff is um the wool shag whatever that is i don't know what they call it but you could do that as an option i wanted to do this because it gives it contrast to the black and then you have all the different seat belts that you attach to there and I just use super glue. Uh, one thing that I found is it's a lot better to put the seat belts, they're actually longer. So you put them underneath, then you put the uh, the pad, and then you can wrap them over, and that adds a whole lot of detail. So that looked out, that looked pretty cool. I like how that went. And then you have a little piece to this, I guess it's part of the ejection system. I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, beyond there, I goofed the top part. So you have some detail to the top, but as I was trying to push it in, it just hasn't cured yet, and it just kind of goofed. So I need to touch that up and use like some paint in there. But I wanted you to see for my mistakes, basically. So final review. I'm very pleased that this was just something I threw together. I'm gonna be doing more um, continued build with this great wall. I need to finish some other stuff. Um, but I think the big thing with it, man, these dials are pretty dope. Set that all up there. And the instrument panel, one final look. Pretty amazing stuff. Didn't really need to do anything to it. It's pretty much all ready to go and looked awesome. So the Edward set is uh, not bad, but I definitely prefer now going into these Quinta Studio, especially now that I can get them from some place more in the US. Didn't, these ones, I had to wait three weeks or something because they were coming out of Australia. But, oh well. So, um, we're gonna see a lot more of these um, more upcoming builds. Definitely the more modern stuff. I think they have a really good application for it. And I'm curious to see what else they have from there. So, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, until next time.